biology a lot of people don't seem to know. It's like from a, a, a large set of uh, things where people know the facts. It's very widespread, the facts, and people don't seem to have thought about the ramifications. They, they know the facts, but they haven't thought of them in the ways that are, that have huge philosophical implications. You know, it's like the sun going around the earth and the sunrise. We still call it sunrise. You know, we know the skin is made of, of you know, millions of, of individual cells, but we still think of it as tissue, you know, as a, as a kind of stuff, extended stuff, you know, because we, the properties that the fact that it's the, made of cells provide are the properties of tissue. So we can just think of the properties of tissue. So um, at the macroscope. <clears throat> so here's an example though. The speed of thought. Now I was watching one of these guys that thinks he's being mind stalked and uh, gang stalked and he called that I came up with mind stalking. But um, and he was saying that one of the things they can do, they have voiced a skull and they put thoughts in his head, you know, just instantly, like at the speed of thought, which is basically the speed of light. Now that was not his main point. But of course the speed of thought is nowhere near the speed of light. It's nowhere near, it's millions times it's a million times slower than excuse me, than the speed of electricity. Um so let's go through that. Now some of the things that you can find out from looking at the research in the speed of nerve impulses is uh, that uh, are things that you might have noticed beforehand. Uh, I'll get into that about pain. Um, but before I even say the speed, it's important to realize also fundamentally it's not like a current of electricity in a wire. It's more like a bucket brigade or a game of telephone. You know, the electricity the, the energy that goes into the first cell, it's not really transmitted, it's so much as it's absorbed, and then a signal using other energy, you know, from the nutrients in the body of this, this living cell, nerve cell gets, it is able to reproduce a signal and propagate it along, right? It changes the signal and, and propagates the signal, it's regenerated, it's like it's more like a game of telephone because the bucket is not really passed through, but to a certain degree it can be passed through. So a mix of those two metaphors. Not like a wire where the energy that is causing the reaction actually goes down the wire. It's not like that. This is something's detected, even falsely like a false pain, and then it's propagated that way. Now the speed at which this happens is different for different kinds of nerves. So the fastest ones are your muscle nerves. And those go about, uh, I looked this up, the numbers I found, around 119 meters per second. That's 266 miles per hour. Some of the sources I saw said they, they only go up to 200. Okay, so that takes uh, eight milliseconds, eight thousandths of a second to go one meter from you know, your brain down to the tip of your finger. Okay. Pretty quick. So it's nowhere near the speed of light. You're going faster than this when you're going in a plane. When you're going in a plane, if you had a nerve, a really long nerve, you know, the impulse couldn't keep up with you. All right. Now, the second quickest is touch, and this is the one that the interesting example comes in with. Uh, 76 meters per second, that's 170 miles per hour. Um, that means it goes a meter in a hundredth of a second. Okay, a hundredth of a second. Well, that's a lot. Well, that's faster, not a lot faster, but it is faster than like your reaction time. I find from studies and also um, doing network programming and for games where you can see how the, the amount of time it takes to send a message, if, like two people have a game world and you're trying to keep them to be exactly the same, but it takes time for the message to go. And you know, two, 250 milliseconds um, is, uh, you know, is a number 
a threshold of some sort in reaction time, quarter of a second reaction time, lots of uh, reflex times. So touch is, you know, it's a lot faster than that, but it's in the scale. I mean, you can see um, uh, that they're getting into the, the scale and they're, they're normal times, okay. But you can't tell that a hundredth of a second has passed. It takes more like a quarter of a second for you to go, oh, a moment's passed, right? At least. Um, and it, there's all different kinds of nerves, so, and they have to interact, and so it could take quite a while, obviously. Thinking takes time, and this is why. Um, okay, I'm going to skip thought and then go to pain, because I want to talk about the feeling of a touch and pain. So pain is super slow. 0.61 meters per second, that's a m one mile per hour. That means to go um, three feet, around three feet a meter, takes 1.6 seconds. That is way b bigger than a reaction time, than a reflex time, than a moment of thought time. Okay, and this is where, before I ever got these numbers, um, it, I didn't think that that's why this happened, but I had noticed that, you know, if you, if your finger gets pricked, it's it's you feel the pressure right away, but the pain will comes in a second or so later. So that's not because you're thinking about it or it takes time for your body to decide if it's pain. There's nerves down there that if they get triggered even falsely, you know, even on accident or by some weird thing, it'll feel like pain. It that's not that's the time it takes for the impulse to travel. To your brain okay so you can actually see this and that should help you imagine how it affects your thoughts now thoughts um, travel supposedly from 20 to 30 meters per second so just using 25 meters per second that's 56 miles per hour okay but they only have a short distance to go I just used five inches to take them uh, five milliseconds five thousandth of a second to go five inches so but still it's slow why isn't it using the fast ones and an interesting question is, would it help? Would we be smarter if we had faster nerves in our brain? Well, not necessarily, because it depends what you mean by smarter. If you want to be more conscious and aware of what's going on, if that's important, then that's happening at 40 hertz, 40 times a second, okay? So 1 40th of a second. So how fast do you have to be? You would just have to be fast if it's like in computer games. We used to write our programs so that we could do everything we needed for a picture. They probably still do on the low levels. You do it in between the vertical uh, refresh time. In other words, a, a, a monitor draws the screen, and then there's a, a black period that's in between before it draws the next one. It's imperceptible to a human, but the computer's working on a period where it can know where those are. And if you do everything before that time comes, that the user never sees you draw an individual shape, otherwise you'd see all the things drawn. You know, um, even if it just looked like a wave, even if you couldn't, you know, you still couldn't keep up with it, or it was a blur. Um, and it could draw fast enough that even if it's drawing right in front of you, it's kind of quick enough. But, but there would be some optical effect. You avoid that with the vertical refresh, and especially in old computers where you know it was just doing. 10 frames a second. So yeah, a person could see you draw all the things on the screen. If you do it in the refresh time, boom, they wouldn't. And you have to sync with that. So the computers were fast enough that, you know, they didn't have to get faster to be better at drawing graphics. So if that's uh, um, an, an analog or a metaphor for thinking, all you have to do to think well is to keep up with the, the rate, the brain frequency of consciousness. On the other hand, if you could have faster nerves in the brain, maybe you'd use a higher frequency. On the other hand, that would probably use more energy and therefore there's some balance that our brain has found. But it's not a speed of light. People think it's extreme. It's just like the Platonist. I have an idea of a leaf. By golly, that's more important than real leaves and it's much better and it's pure and nice and good than the real leaves and not so much. Hate breaking. You know, it's like the speed of light and, and, and all of this stuff. So. That, that's just one and maybe a series of you know these facts but why haven't you thought of them this way but maybe you didn't know these facts 